Hello and welcome to Grindforce Gaming. I'm Falcon and I'm here to show you how to complete every shrine in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today we'll be riding the wind at the Gattacus Shrine. Before we jump in, it's only through your support that Grindforce Gaming can exist. So please take a moment to subscribe to the Grindforce Gaming channel and if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a like before you leave. Now, let's beat this shrine. The Gattacus Shrine is located in the Tabantha Frontier, right in the heart of Rito Village. Just peek over the railing while you're on the walkways and you can't miss it. The Shrine Challenge here is called Ride the Winds, and we'll be using our trusty paraglider to do just that. When you enter the Shrine, jump off the end of the walkway and immediately open your paraglider. Glide over the gap and you'll notice a large fan to your left, blowing a strong gust of wind. Once you reach this current of air, you'll be swept along horizontally. As soon as you turn the corner to the right, be ready to move side to side in order to dodge the laser beams crisscrossing the tunnel. Around the next corner, we'll reach a large hole with a strong current of wind blowing upward. A ways down, there is a spinning disc. Line yourself up over the hole in that disc and fall through it. To get the timing right, it's helpful to press R to dive downward and speed through quicker. Below is a circle of ice. I used the fire weapon that I was carrying to melt it, but I'm pretty sure you can just jump up and down on the ice to shatter it. Once you're through that opening, look at the ledges below and find the treasure chest. Glide over and destroy the construct, then open the chest. If you lose your bearings, you can always open your paraglider to ride the wind up and look around. I chose to take out the other two constructs using the bow, but if you dodge their arrows, you can just skip past them. To get through the opening in the wall between them, we'll need to quickly open and close the paraglider to alternately fall or ride the wind through it. Once you're through the gap in the wall, you can keep your paraglider open and ride the winds to the end of the shrine. There you have it. That's how to beat the Gattacus Shrine in Tears of the Kingdom. If this guide was helpful, give it a like, and make sure to subscribe to Grindforce Gaming so you never miss out on our newest content. I'm Falcon, thank you for watching, and enjoy the grind.